Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hendrickson, the author of Explore It from Pragmatic Bookshelf. I want to tell you about my book by showing you a couple exploratory sessions. I'll be exploring Slotted, a web app my friends Corey Haynes and Sarah Gray made for scheduling appointments. I'll start with a recon session. My mission, or charter, is to explore the app's capabilities and limitations. As I start to get to know the app, I discover that Slotted lets me create an event on a given day with a set of slots, or appointments, that people can sign up for. If I create an event and then go to the appointment reservation page, I can reserve a time. I'll pretend to be Jane Doe and snag a slot. I'll fill in the topic field and say that I want to talk about testing. Back on the event administration page, I see that Jane Doe reserved a time slot, but I also notice a surprise. I expected to see the topic here, but it doesn't show up. I'll make a note of that. Now that I'm familiar with the application, I'll continue my recon session by looking for variables, things that I can change or cause to be changed that could affect the behavior of the system. I notice several obvious variables the event name, date, number of slots, duration of each slot, break in between the slots, the time that the event starts. I'll pick just one of these variables to play with, the date. What happens if I try to set the date manually instead of using the picker? It turns out I can type a number into the field. Weird. I wonder what happens if I put in a very large number. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's a bug. So, noted and onward. Now, I'll try varying something entirely different the URL in the browser address field. Since this is a Rails app, I know something about how it's structured. If I edit the new off this URL, leaving just events, I might see a listing of all events. Sure enough, I do. I thought I'd found a security hole in the application, but I tried it in production and got a 404. It turns out I actually discovered a testability hook on the staging server. No security hole, but this testability feature will help me explore. Let's see what else I can discover. Here's an event called Office Hours, scheduled for November 18th, 2011. That date is long in the past. Noticing details like this is something good explorers do. That's why there's an entire chapter on observing in my book. So, can I reserve it? Yep, I can reserve a slot in the past. That looks like a bug. At this point, I've explored enough on my recon charter. I've learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of Slotted. Time to share what I learned with Corey and Sarah and also ask them what information they'd like me to seek in future sessions. Corey and Sarah said they wanted to know if I could find any way to double book an appointment, so that became my next charter. I could use analysis techniques like modeling states or sequences, but I'm going to start with a brute force approach and just try to book the same appointment at the same time from two different computers. I managed to hit the grab a slot and then confirm buttons at just about the same time. And look, the response flickers from green to gray on the two computers. Green means I got the appointment, gray means I didn't. I wonder which one it is. I wonder if the app sent email confirmations to both users. Both accounts got confirmation emails. When I click on the links in the emails, I see the app shows both users confirmed for the same appointment. Uh-oh, that's a huge bug. So I told Corey and Sarah what I found right away, and they're so awesome, they already fixed it. You won't be able to double book appointments on Slotted now. That wraps it up. A couple of successful exploratory sessions. If you want to know more about exploratory testing, I hope you'll buy my book. Thanks, and happy exploring.